You made the right choice, Junior. Mm. Let's get you on a call with Coach. I know he's going to be thrilled. Oh. I'm going to be keeping an eye on you, you hear me? So you think you're ready to declare for the draft? Just hit me up. Uh, thanks, Sergeant. Moving into a bigger world now, Junior. You think you're ready? Oh, no doubt, man. Let's go get it. Living and grinding, hustling it. Hey. Junior, Red, you guys ready? Excited? Hunting coach, don't know any other way. Yes, sir, can't wait. Good, like we spoke about in practice, conference is tough this year. We got high expectations in the media, but if we win more than we lose, we should be situated pretty well come tournament time. But tonight, it's midnight mania, all right? All right. It's a celebration. Everybody on this team has sacrificed a lot to get here, so you put on a show for those fans, all right? Enjoy it. Hey, Junior, I just wanna, just wanna say this to you, um, I'm a huge, fan of your father. Duke's leadership embodied everything college basketball is about. Uh, thanks, Coach. Have fun out there. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Bring that back. Okay, look, this is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say stay humble, and we go bump. You gonna say stay hungry, and you're not feeling it. Nah, man, I can't see myself coming into that. Okay, okay. <laughs> open brainstorm. It's the first pass. Nervous, Red? I'm terrified. It's gonna be all right, man. I'm receiving your energy. You are a weird dude, man. I hear that a lot. Uh, stay humble, stay hungry. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> uh. All right, y'all, let's bring it in. Huddle up, y'all, come on, come on. Talk to him, Red. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna keep it short. Today sets the tone. So let's go out there and get these fans a season that they can look forward to, okay? Break it down, Junior, come on. All right, y'all, family on three. One, two, three, family. Boom. Okay, you know that boom feels like a little much. You win Can I every say time. time. <laughs> well, then maybe winning should feel like less of an every event. Every time just... feels like the first time. Boom. Yo. Y'all up for some doubles? Hey, yo, Lula, no, I'm not good at this game. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm always ready to take the basketball team down a peg. <laughs> Why you say that? Okay. Because, you know. I don't, do you? Yeah, they think we walk around like we own the place. Because everyone treats you like you do. Boom! Yo, I see, I told you I was bad at this game, now I'm starting to live up to it. <laughs> All right. I don't act like that. Because you're new. You'll change. Wait, no, you act like that, Red? I'm not sure, but apparently it's fate. But who am I to argue with fate? Oh, oh come God, on, I love this doing game. that. Yes. All right, look. Uh uh. Serious. <laughs> Big game coming up, boys. First game, right? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> College is a new game. It's a big step, but my dad taught me to respect it. Oh, Ellie, hey, we gotta get to practice. Oh, that's because I was winning. You wanted to walk out like yeah, that? Sure. What's your name? Junior. Hey, uh, what if um, what if we win this next game and me and you do something together? And if you lose, uh, then we don't. Text me after your game. So when's the wedding? You were just scared to say so. <laughs> Ellie. Greetings, sports fans, and welcome to our presentation of College Bound. That concludes our broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Catch you next time.
It's a good win, Junior. All I'm focused on is getting us to the tournament. Hey, that's why we brought you here. Play the game the right way. The guys in this locker room, they really respect that. This team needs a leader right now. All right? Hey, listen to me. This team will go as far as you take us. I'm gonna need you to own that, all right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Good job. Thanks, coach. Did my maker hit a ax for a favor? I need the money and clothes, the flashy cars and the jewels. All these rappers is screwed. Flashing lights and I pose on the road to give you my soul. Hold on, all the fans screaming names, ain't naming fans. Those two days, amen. Never been on my level. Keep pushing, hit tight, in trouble. You, my money is flipping. These racks is tripping. Numbers don't lie when my ex told me. What coach have to say? Ah, nothing really. He likes what we're at. Keep those numbers up in your draft position gonna be sitting pretty too, all right? You know I'm saying you want to play on a higher level, right? I don't care if it's football, basketball, anything. I don't even care if it's one of the top leagues. We're still talking about all-stars from every state, every country for the last 15 years. There is no let up. You gotta be ready for that. Man, what makes you think I'm not ready? Just asking me that question tells me you're not ready. Because I'm not afraid enough. That's better as a start. That's right, because outperforming just your teammates, that's not going to cut it no more, right? What happens when you feel overwhelmed? Because that's going to happen. What happens when you feel like it's just not clicking? What do we do then? Work when you're on the clock, ain't work. Thank you. Okay, so you do listen sometimes. All right, not wasting my time. Look, son. Good to see you, dude. Respect. Thanks, young man. Look. Your ceiling is sky high. I believe in you with everything I got, but you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your talents. You gotta show commitment if you wanna cash in on this. I am committed. All right, I believe that. I believe that. I also know there's always more for us to do. Always. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight for our presentation of... Oh my goodness, what a slam from Junior. Syracuse takes this one by a big margin. And the effort from Junior on the boards, I thought set the tone for them as far as effort and want to. So, and that'll do it. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Junior, why'd you dunk the ball like that? I saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? Felt like the right time to energize the team. All right, you're going to have to make a decision about what type of player you're going to be, how you're going to represent yourself and this school. Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of the line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm going to tell you a story. All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding our colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my moment. I'm going to give them the razzle-dazzle, behind-the-back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at it. You showed out. Absolutely. I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two. So I'm thinking, I'm on cloud nine. Life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, Coach pulls me aside, and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by 10. But I made the game about myself, my ego. Every time I, went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. Uh, I was mad. He was wrong. But then I saw the tape. Mm. You know what happens next, or you just tired of listening to me talk? I'm mad because I'm listening, Coach. Look, Junior, win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're going to have to live with that, and there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? Got you, Coach. All right. <sighs> Smiling, huh? Hey, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Oh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. Hey, thank you for bringing me here. This place is amazing. I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. It's so easy to get one dimensional with like everything that we do, like mm -hmm. training and film sessions and travel. And 
I just, I just want to see so much that's out of that bubble, you know? Like, yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No? Why not? I... That is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah. Figuring out who you are and you're exposed to so much. Just if you're, you're open to it. Like all of this, this makes me so good at soccer in the long run. Like at least I like to think it does. And you play for the Canadian national team too? I'm I'm an alternate right now, but yeah, every time I get in line and they sing, oh, Canada, <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said basketball players get the treatment. Yeah. That's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, just I did, okay. But you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Right? Yeah, I do. Everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah. Expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. I mean, the fans, they take everything so personal. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this, it's a responsibility, yeah. Yeah, it's just all going by so fast. And I am, um, I just want to appreciate this moment. So thank you very much. Thank you too. You know Alex Williams, Airball Alex Williams? You don't know her show, bro? What? Should I? Yes! She's one of the top national college basketball influencers and she's blowing up with a dope blunt podcast and video channels. You gotta take it seriously. Because them NBA draft heads definitely do. All right, I'll check out. No, no, no. You gonna do it now because she's all over you. Right here, she singled you out and issued a challenge. Throw down. And she even hit me on my socials to make sure you got it. Let me see that. Okay, so I meet this challenge and then what? I'm sure she'll hype you on the show. Okay, and if I don't? She'll bury you. I seen it happen before, stone cold ruthless. All right, fine. She wants to go, we can go. Mm. I ain't never been afraid of no challenge. <laughs>